few good early touches and I think most of the Everton lads have had a good touch early on which will help them this is Nickel looking for McMahon good through ball he got away from Ratcliffe oh and John Orgis in a great position and Liverpool have scored in their first attack John Aldridge, the man who missed a penalty here last season in the cup final, didn't take long to make up for it. The ball played through was for McMahon, and it caught Everton. Ratcliffe was out manoeuvred there. The ball into Aldridge was superb, and his finish was clinical. And very much on the counter attack, and how threatening they look when they break out. Barnes. It'll do. Beautiful ball this by John Barnes, he curled it in menacingly and Aldridge, who's been doing well with his head too recently, consistent of first seasons at Goodison. But here's a man who's enjoyed a most consistent season, Aldridge, Beardsley. Houghton probing as always. Oh, Aldridge in again! And a switch to the left. a classic example uh, I think there was a time Kevin Ratcliffe would have caught Peter Beersley uh, and again it was an example of Everton in possession themselves and not having the composure of like Stevie Nicol Allen Hansen and use the ball they, they got themselves into trouble there was about three Everton players within five yards of each other and suddenly Liverpool had an attack Beardsley and still Beardsley well that's two opportunities in a minute for Beardsley the first one, I think some credit to Southall, because he did stand up well and block Beardsley, Beardsley's view of the goal. And I think that may be substantiated by what we're going to see here, because he was clear of the defender, Ratcliffe, but Southall, good in one against ones like that, save with his feet. In again to Houghton, who's always threatening. Barnes is a long way away on the left, but he's the freest player. Well found. Southall down to the near post. Everton have certainly had the better of the last half hour, as you would expect for a team who've been a goal down for so long. Watson heads it forward to Cotty. Sharp. Chances here. Nevin. And outside him a chance too. And Gravilla. And it's got him. scores the goal, Stuart McCall scores the goal that brings Everton level and almost certainly forces extra time it couldn't have come any closer to the end Liverpool had one hand on the cup and it looks like another half hour There goes Beardsley. That was quite amazing, wasn't it? They paid the penalty, Liverpool, just sitting back these last 20 minutes, holding on to that 1-0 lead. Good run by Pat Nevin. Davy Watson it was who crossed it, and Stuart McCall pounced on the slipper. And there it is. It's extra time. 
in the All Merseyside Cup final. And Stuart McCall scores in the dying seconds for Everton. Couldn't have been closer. Nickel. Oh, there's Rush in there. Rush! Goal! Ian Rush! Liverpool back in front. Five minutes into extra time. And Ian Rush, scorer of two against Everton here three years ago, swivels on that. Shakes off Ratcliffe and beats Southall. A typical rush effort. And it's come at a timely moment for Liverpool. Great piece of... ...behind again, almost as soon as extra time started. Ratcliffe. Watson's up. Here's McCall again. Oh, yes! It's 2-2! the same player, Stuart McCall, dropping it wide of Grubbelar for the second equaliser, headed out first of all, but look how McCall got that down and the perfect volley with the right foot, Trevor. Well, he's not having a bad afternoon, is he, since coming on, Alan Hansen heads it out, it drops and loops in, Bruce Grobelard, never quite going to get there. Whelan. McMahon, Barnes. Rush! Goal! 3-2 Liverpool. Ian Rush gets his second. This now becomes one of the most dramatic FA Cup finals of recent times. Beautiful ball by Barnes, deftest of headers by Rush, steered it wide of Southall. And Rush repeats his feat of three years ago, with two goals to put Everton's heads in their hands. So, uh, here's McCall. Stephen! Kenny Dalglish's old club have won the cup in Scotland. Can Colin Harvey prevent him from completing an unusual Wait, double Colin! here in England? But I, I think you've got to favour Liverpool at this late stage. Uh, Dave Watson was pushed up in the last few minutes, wasn't he? Those 90 minutes that made a difference. There goes Rush, and Southall's made a long run out. And it has to be proved the right decision. Barnes. Now Liverpool are creating gaps because Everton have to push on, throw players forward. And it could easily finish 4-2, as well as 3-3. Uh, now, can John Barnes add to that total? He's kept the ball in, he's got Rush in the middle. Still Barnes. And Southall makes the save, as he's made several bounds deprived there. Venison, Rush, it can still work for Barnes here. Ratcliffe in the way, Beardsley, good save, he touched that. Well, in my view, he did anyway. Has Kenny Dalglish's team finally laid their hands on the FA Cup? Yes, they have. Or have they? The crowd thought it was the final whistle. Joe Worrell did point to the centre, but I think he's about 30 seconds early, and I don't think that is the end of the game. Quite a few of the players thought it was, because Joe was pointing towards the centre, and that's premature, That, uh, although what it might do is perhaps help the stewards to control what now is in danger of happening. If they sent them a bit further back, might, might prevent it from uh, getting out of hand at the very end.
In fact, we make it about uh, 35 seconds still to play, but Everton must know how close it is now. And the game's going on with a gentleman in an official on the pitch in a white shirt. He's obviously going to play outside right. Here's Sharp. McCall. And they're still on the pitch, the official. McCall. Foul from behind, Beardsley. That was panic. Now, can Everton do it again? We are now in stoppage time. Well, there's no Sheedy there now, of course. It's going to be Stephen. Can he make it 3-3 and force a replay? Or can McDonald? Well, it was close. From Neil McDonald. And there were a few people reaching for their diaries then. This would, I imagine, be Everton's last chance. Robelaar had it covered. Whistles all round the stadium. And Liverpool have won the FA Cup, the first leg of the double, and perhaps softened the pain that so many of their supporters have been through recently. And in a fine, dramatic final, surely lifted the spirits of a whole city and of the game of football.